Greetings everyone, I'm Prince B, coming at you with some more Amiibo unboxings. And uh, let me just say, if you're watching this the day it comes out, Happy New Year to you all. This is my first Amiibo unboxing of 2016. And, uh, you know, New Year's is a day for turning over a new leaf. So I thought it'd be cool to unbox some Animal Crossing Amiibo. If you've watched my channel, you've probably noticed that I really love games with interesting stories. But that's not the only kind of game I play. I happen to love a variety of games, and in particular, the Animal Crossing franchise. I have all of them <laughs> since they released in North America. So uh, when they announced Animal Crossing Amiibo, I was pretty excited. Now, while Happy Home Designer, I actually enjoyed quite a bit and I have a good number of cards that I haven't opened on camera uh, mostly because they were doubles that a friend gave me uh, he also gave me uh, some of these ones too. Uh, follow him on his tumblr link down below so while I loved that I've heard significantly less good things about amiibo festival here so I held off on that also because I was a uh, Already buying, when this came out, I was getting Yokai Watch. Uh, did a review on that. Check it out if you haven't already. It's, uh, it's okay. It's a pretty good review, maybe. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I've just been kind of collecting some Animal Crossing amiibo here and there as I went along. So yeah, I thought it'd be cool to, uh, do a New Year's Day unboxing of, uh, some Animal Crossing characters. Uh, and, uh, why don't we start it off with, uh the star of the show, though Nintendo would have you believe otherwise these days, the villager. Uh, he's our only Smash Amiibo, obviously, being the only Animal Crossing series rep. Uh, and he was very difficult to find for quite a while, and uh, in some places he still is. But the, the interesting thing is, when Amiibo first came out, I walked past a wall of these guys. Yep, that's right, there were a bunch at my target, and I picked up Link and Pikachu. Hmm, bad decisions, right? Uh, hindsight's 2020 though. So, uh, in case you couldn't tell, this is the reprint villager, uh, from the big Toys R Us restock. Uh, so yeah, let's open him up. And, uh... And here he is. Now this was a character that I actually wanted in Smash because like I said, I've been following Animal Crossing since it came out in the US. And uh, so that was way back on the GameCube. And I actually wanted an Animal Crossing rep since I played Melee. And I had no idea what kind of moveset you could give him. But uh, so I... I kind of dismissed it. I thought Animal Crossing's the series that'll never get an actual playable fighter. But lo and behold, Smash 4 gives us the villager right up front, one of the first characters revealed. In fact, I think he was the first. But uh, yeah, let's actually take a look at the amiibo. Like I said, this is the reprint villager. Uh, I've got some kind of bad lighting in here, so my camera is uh, maybe illuminating him a bit too much. But if you notice, he's got this gigantic forehead. Uh, because he's the reprint villager, for those of you who aren't in the know, the first print of villagers had enormous eyes, uh, that, like, took up, like, they were, like, this big, uh, and everyone was upset about it because it didn't look like how it was supposed to. So, for the second printing, they fixed the eyes and they shrink them down problem is they didn't move the rest of his face up so he's just got this gigantic forehead and as much as I love Nintendo you can watch my videos and see that I love them and I will defend them nine times out of ten but you messed up on this one you had you messed up the first time you messed up the second time and then instead of even trying to fix it a third time you're just like eh, you know what nah just leave it uh I mean it was it wasn't all on Nintendo. They, it was 
manufacturers, but come on guys, you couldn't you couldn't check quality control? You quality control so many other things and get it right, but Villager, what happened, man? Anyways, still great to have him. Uh other than the massive forehead, uh he's a simple character, but he's pretty good. He's uh more or less accurate to the model if you take that aside. He's got a I mean, he's from the first series, and he's a simple character. He could have done with some nice details, like maybe uh, more details on the shoes and the pants. But, I mean, overall, simple character. Didn't need a whole lot of detail. And if you can look past the forehead, he's a pretty high-quality figure for uh, all things considered. Um, Next... Uh, this one is not really an unboxing so much as just taking them out of the pack because, uh, like I said, my friend, he gives me a bunch of Amiibo uh, because he collects them too. He really wanted a KK and didn't want to import and didn't want to wait on that. So instead he just goes and buys the whole three pack and he do he has no interest in the alpacas. So he gives them to me. Uh, I love KK, but... Uh, actually did want the alpacas more than KK, so I do need to pick up a KK at some point, but I just, I love Reese and Cyrus, uh, I love customization, Animal Crossing's all about that, so getting the characters that let you, like, customize your furniture is just really cool, also I love fluffy things like sheep, uh, alpacas, uh, bunnies, you know, anything in Animal Crossing, pretty much, <laughs> uh, so let's take these guys out. So here are Reese and Cyrus, uh, alpacas extraordinaire. Uh, fun fact, alpacas, though they look like sheep, are actually closer related to camels. Uh, but yes, very cool characters, uh, I know a lot of people don't like them, and uh, even if even the ones who do like them still didn't want them bundled with KK, I don't see why that was a thing. KK has literally nothing to do with these guys, but uh, I really like their figure. Uh, they have good detail. They've got some texture on their aprons, uh, very similar to like uh, I think Toon Link has some texture that's similar to this, uh, and they've got the stitches are raised, uh, the little hearts. To, uh, and then their, uh, little frill things on their, around their necks are like, uh, Peach's dress. They're kind of that material where it's like a very thin plastic. Uh, overall, I can't really find anything that's like wrong with them. They're really good. Uh, I guess if I were going to say one thing, uh, the seams are, the seam on Cyrus's head for his pompadour is kind of, uh, noticeable but uh other than that they're very good figures and it's a shame that so many people hate them just because they were bundled with kk like i don't know nintendo what were you doing this is the this is the one episode where you're gonna hear me complain about nintendo wow <laughs> next let's get tom nook another character so many people hate tom nook but i love tom nook he's he's Maybe my favorite Animal Crossing special villager, or special character. Uh, everyone hates him because they perceive him as greedy. And I just don't see it because he... Cause it's like, okay, yeah, he gives, he gives you a loan for your house. But that means he's like one of the most important characters because without him, you couldn't... You wouldn't be in the game. You wouldn't be able to do all these things because you wouldn't have anywhere to live. And... Everyone loves the decorating their houses in Animal Crossing. So, I mean, it's all thanks to Nook. And everyone's like, oh, well, he just wants money. But he's the chillest loan shark ever. Like, he gives you the money, but he's like, oh, you just pay me back whenever. There's no time limits. There's no penalty. I don't charge you interest. And if you don't feel like upgrading your house, just don't pay me back. I won't even chase you down for it. Like... He's he's just a great guy. I love him. <laughs> he and he's just so hated and it makes me sad. <laughs> but here's Tom Nook. Uh much like the alpacas, he's got that textured detail or that 
much like the alpaca, he's got that texture on his little vest. Uh, I would have preferred original apron Tom Nook because uh, nostalgia, but uh, other than that, uh, he's got these little. Uh, he's got a little gradient on his nose and his ears and his tail. Uh, looks nice. Uh, overall, he's pretty simple. Uh, aside from the texture, and uh, he's pretty cool. I love Tom Nook, and so I'm pretty happy to have him. Finally, wrapping up this episode is Amiibo Festival. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so I have heard a lot of things about this game. None of them necessarily positive. Uh, like, at most, I've heard neutral reactions to this game and a lot of bad ones. I'm still optimistic, kind of. I'm trying to keep an open mind. I mean, Animal Crossing board game isn't the first thing that I'd expect with the series, but I mean, at least it shows that they care about the series enough to try something new with it. They have faith that the characters are lovable enough to pull them through. Uh, I hear it's really lacking on mini games, which I mean, why couldn't they add in the mini games from uh, Tortimer's Island in New Leaf? That was Those were actually really fun for how simple they were. Uh, and trying to grind it, and trying to grind, uh, the island points for the various, uh, island items was actually kind of fun with the mini games. so I mean, like, just add those in, and there would have been less to complain about, I mean, but, you know, I'll, I'll play the game and see for myself, I mean, chances are I probably won't be in love with it, but I'm willing to give it a shot, and, uh, I didn't pay full price for this either. I got it off Amazon uh, for like half price. It was it was about half price from what retail was. So uh, I saw it and I just picked it up uh, because I wanted Isabelle and Digby anyway. So I'm not saving the box. I don't know why I'm trying to be so careful with that. So here are the puppy twins. Uh, everyone else goes gaga for Isabelle. And I mean, I love Isabelle too, but... I actually like Digby more, like, I'm in the minority with that, like, I mean, all these characters that everyone else is, like, kind of ambivalent towards are, like, my favorite ones. Uh, so, here are Isabelle and Digby. So, we'll start with Digby, since, uh, everyone else, since everyone loves Isabelle, we'll save her for last. Uh, he looks pretty good. Uh, he's even got the little buttons on his sleeves, I mean, nice touch. Uh... He's just a solid figure. I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, he's got this kind of like a seam on his hair. Uh, but you can't even see that if he's, if you're looking at him the way you're supposed to. Uh, so I mean, yeah, he's a simple character and he's got a simple figure. So I mean, it's cool. I like it. Uh, I think he's very high quality for what he is. Uh, and I love him. <laughs> he's just a cool character. I love him. Uh, and of course, everyone's doggy waifu, Isabel. Uh, I mean, I don't see anything particularly wrong. I, I feel like her, the white part of her mouth, when I first saw her in the box, I thought that was too low. It actually looked like she had a beard. But then I looked at, like, official artwork, and I guess I was just, like, weird perspective thing going on, because that's totally how her face is supposed to look. Uh... Oh, she's even got the little bells on her hair ribbon. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, yeah, just like Digby, there's nothing to, like, really complain about. I'm not seeing any paint splotches. Uh, the seams are all in places you wouldn't really see them looking at straight on. Uh, just a really solid figure. I mean, the Animal Crossing figures, they have the benefit of having been designed for... Designed to be an, as Amiibo, as opposed to the Smash line, which were set in all kinds of awkward poses that needed stands. Like, none of these guys need stands, and they all look fantastic because there's they were designed with being Amiibo in mind. So, they're just really cool to have. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, longer episode. Actually, uh, I do have the Animal Crossing cards here. I might as well open these while I do my outro. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching this slightly longer episode uh we got goldie stitches and rosie the variant versions uh but yeah so 
thanks for watching as always and i'll see you all over the course of this coming year uh looking forward to opening more amiibo i'll probably end up getting the rest of the animal crossing line since i've already got a good number of them and i just love animal crossing so uh there's that to look forward to i can tell you i've also got several other amiibo to open i've got uh some reviews planned already for this year and uh even some uh, non-review videos that I'm working on already. So, uh, lots of things to look forward to. It's a new year full of new possibilities. Uh, so, I hope everyone has a, a great new year and uh, a great year to come. Thank you for watching.